Good morning, ducks. I'm seriously being told. And good morning and welcome to the duck adventure for uh, September 5th. September 5th, that's what it is. Um, I had to run to town. That's why I'm late today. But I'm back and I got to uh, let the ducks out, obviously. But I'm, um, I got to work on my garden, guys. I got to pick vegetables today. As much as I would love to go down to the lake and play with the ducks, it can't happen. Oh man, they're so loud. So I got my uh, watering station done yesterday. So today will be the, uh, the telltale sign if it works or not. First we're gonna let the ducks out and then I'm gonna uh, put the pivot heads on and we'll see if my drain works or not. See if all my work yesterday, oh, was a lot of screwing around. Okay, ducks, let me through. Yeah, they went out bad. Come on out, ducks! <laughs> All right, ducks, come back. It's like you didn't want the ducks going in the lake. Well, I pretty well like it up pretty quick. Doug uh, got upset. He ran out to the swamp and then came back and uh, now he's gone. Strange. <laughs> it's a scorcher, guys. It's like 30 degrees already. And it's only 10, I think it's 10.20 right now. Oh, he's on the other side of the creek. But I've got to do uh, one job in the garage concerning the lighting for the pan. Because I have to uh, get something wired up so that I can try it tonight to get an idea of the layout of what I'm going to do with the wiring. Or with the lighting, I mean. And then uh, i got to start picking vegetables. I have to pick my peas today, no matter what. And I still haven't bagged my frozen uh, apples. <laughs> I'm way behind. Man, I'd love to be out in a boat doing nothing. Unfortunately, I've got a to-do list. She's freaking nice out though. Oh boy, what a beautiful week it's going to be. I think we don't start getting some nasty weather until I think it's either, I think it's Friday. <laughs> Doug's going out with the ducks. Oh God. You know, it's almost like he's doing like a, some sort of recon type thing. Because he likes to go ahead of the ducks. I, I'm thinking it's, uh, you know, he's sweeping the area. Security check, you know? He's like the duck king, you know? Hey, look at him. Oh, 
water. He's going in the water. He's hot. Oh, ducks. Oh, dog. She's warm today. You're so laid back, Doug. They're certainly uh, doing serious rushes, though. <coughs> oh, sorry, cough attack there. Oh, boys. Well, they're off for the day. They're coming back about uh, the 6.30 mark. I took the trap out. Uh, I haven't rebaited it yet. Been a little busy yesterday uh, doing the drain. I didn't videotape anything yesterday, guys, because I just wanted to get that uh, drain done. And I had to tear up the patio stones to lay the wire down. I'll show you how I did it, but um, it uh, took a lot longer, of course, than I thought. But I'm not gonna do any work on the pen other than the, uh, the lighting in the garage. But let's go do uh, the watering station and uh, see if my drain works. Because I haven't honestly tested it. This will be the first time. Ironically, I'm going to videotape my either success or my failure right now. Okay, we got a male Muscovy heading to the lake. It's not Mo though. It's strange that a male would be going to the lake because they, uh, they usually don't leave the yard. Oh, here's Mo. These little Muscovies, they haven't gone to the lake yet. Well, the male is, he's gone, but the three females are still here. Go to the water, ducks. Let's do this and see if uh, my, uh, my drain is gonna work or not. This is what I've come up with, guys. We'll, uh, I'll wash her out here and you'll be able to see it better, but I lined it all with, uh, I had some, actually, some broken patio stones that were actually the right shape. So we'll see how this works. See if the uh, whole situation drains like it's supposed to. But they were pretty busy here last night eating. Oh yeah, they ate a ton of food last night. So having the food beside the water increases consumption. All right, let's see if uh, this works. So honestly guys, this is the first time that I've done the emptying of the pool to rinse it out. I'll see if uh, my drain system works or not. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, look at that. Right on, minimal splash over. That's awesome. No more wet in the pen. Oh, look at that sludge. That's all feed, feed dust actually. Drains into here. And we'll see how this works. This should settle all the feces and that, and then I can shovel it out uh, when it gets too full. Hopefully this works. It should, in theory. It should collect all the, uh, the feces and the, uh, the feed and everything and the good compost stuff for the garden. So I've got a design flaw, guys. I put this uh, wire on to stop anything from uh, coming up the drain weasels specifically um, and it's causing a drain problem uh, it's too small of an area and everything's collecting there 
and well, feathers and chunks of straw and things uh, that is causing a dam. So I'm going to have to make um, another wire grid across here uh, as a pre-filter. I gotta come up with something. Not today though. I actually need to come up with something that I can just lift out easily and back spray it. I gotta put my thinking cap on this one, but I'm not today. I got uh, a garden to deal with. First I gotta go deal with my lights for the pen um, and then uh, attack my garden. Ducks are having fun down at the creek and I have no idea where my dog is. So oh, there's my dog. He just snuck up on me. Dougie. Oh, you're really dirty. Holy mackerel dogs. All right. Other than that, it's a success. The water drains perfect. It's easy to clean up. The ducks got their feed, water, side by side. Couldn't ask for any better. I've got Simon lined up for Thursday. And the plan of action is to finish off hauling all the gravel, fill this with stone so that there's no more water sitting here, run the, uh, the drain line out of the pan and get rid of all these wet spots so that the pan is dry. A dry pan means next to no smell, but it turned out pretty good. Except for my design issue on the drain. Drain screen, I should say. Okay, Doug, what, what are you following the Muscovies around for? Oh, it's Mo. Was Mo trying to mount a duck? Yep, that's what it was. Well, we've got a couple ducks that need to uh, go free here. We've got a snapping turtle duck. The last little duck. Come on. There you go. Oh man, your toe's sticking out. Looks nasty. Of course, they go inside the barn. Well, before we go to the barn, look at this, the goose. How many eggs are you on? Man, oh man, hatching goose eggs in September. Are we gonna have goslings here at the end of the year? There's no other ducks in here though. It's like the goose has uh, scared everybody away. <laughs> I know. Nobody's in here. You got the whole shed to yourself. Oh boy, is it's a beautiful day. Okay. I'm looking for that little sick duck from the other day. Turns out that little sick duck has an eye infection. There it is. It's got much more uh, energy. It's not sitting around with its head bobbing anymore, but something's happened to its eye. Relax, little duck. Yeah, look at this. It's got some kind of bubble eye thing happening. Put the old polysporin on it and it's like her eyeball is exploding out of her head. This side's good. She's got a good eye, but she's got way more energy since I brought her in here though. She's not sitting around like looking like she's about to die. Well, let's see what happens. Now, little eye infection duck. It's time. It's time for you to go with the flock. Man, this is a heavy duck. I, I'm actually shocked how heavy it is. Yes, Dougie, it's a duck. It's a really heavy duck, too. Oh, you're going to go through some separation anxiety here. Is he being 
in the barn your whole life actually because uh, we discovered that eye infection when we were letting all the ducks out. I know little duck but your eyes are better so it's time for you to be a grown-up duck. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> Dougie giving it kisses. Dog, hey, why would you do that, you silly thing? Dog, what a dog. If you had a puppy here, you would be just playing all the time and you wouldn't be doing any work, would you? So what I'm up to here, guys, is I'm going to convert this fixture from a metal halide fixture to a very big compact fluorescent. So the plan is I'm going to convert it, obviously, and I'm going to uh, put a plug on it for tonight because I want to see where I'm going to mount it on the pan, if I'm going to mount it in the corner, or if I'm going to mount it on the big pole. I want to see what kind of lighting I can get out of it, how much it throws off for the, uh, the, 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 the compact fluorescent. I don't know how bright it's going to be. And uh, then tomorrow I'll put it up after I do the test tonight. So that's my next job, and then I'm going to go and pick peas in my garden. Well, she's nice and sparkly clean now, guys. And it's officially converted over. So now I, uh, well, I had to use a, uh, an, a mobile base adapter. Uh, then I had to use an extender to get the, uh, the light to be in the center of the fixture. It should work. So I'm going to throw this on the back of the fixture, and uh, we'll, we'll plug it in to make sure it works. All right. Yep, she works. I'll put it together now and take it over to the uh, back deck and tonight we'll do a test and see uh, where I'm going to have to position this to get the desired lighting effect in the pen. Well, I had to try it. And we'll see how bright it is tonight. The garage is not that dark because of the light upstairs uh, from the window. But she seems to be throwing some pretty good light here. I'm lighting up this corner of the garage pretty good. With it on, well, a lot of light pollution from upstairs. I think it's going to light up the pan really good. Might not have to put in as many lights as I thought once I get this installed. All right, next project. It's 3.30, haven't got anything done. Well, I did get something done. I decided to... Uh, get the boat in the water and you know uh, set up my automatic bilge pump and the solar panels and get the motor on and the whole bit because you know we got to get out of the water here this is ridiculous um i can pick peas tomorrow hopefully <laughs> anyways um i'm down at the lake working on the boat and i thought i saw a ripple in the water like a, you know something swimming under the water the duck started freaking out doug absolutely went bonkers ran down the shoreline went jumped across the creek rounded all the ducks up into a big circle uh, on this side of the creek and I was working away and I you know I didn't see anything I was looking and the killdeers weren't totally freaking and you know I, I, I thought you know this is a, it's a false alarm as you can see probably about it looks like about 80% of them are back in the yard they're on the back side of the pen there there's a whole bunch over by a water station I have on the other side there and that's the only group that are left at the water now when I took everything down to the, the boat, I had a load and a half. So I thought, no, I'm just taking the, all this stuff down to the boat. I'm not going to bring the shotgun with me. I'm in the boat setting everything up. All of a sudden I heard this the chirping sound, otter. I look up, there's a freaking otter not even 10 feet from me. He's got his head out of the water looking at me work, working in the boat. Doug sees it, he loses it, I, he's on the end of the dock. Dog was amazing though, I told him not to, told him to sit, he sat, didn't jump in after the otter. So, ran back to the, the yard, got the shotgun that was hanging on by the clothesline stand, run back to the deck, dock, trip on the dock. Because the plywood, the screws are breaking off because they're rusted. So I'm headed down with the screw gun and some screws and the shotgun on my back, just in case he makes another appearance. But I gotta fix the deck, the ramp, 
because I tripped on the way back out there. Almost wiped it completely. It was so close. I'm running like Rambo with the shotgun, eh? And then trip. Oh, man. Anyways, we have an otter. Absolutely for sure. But it was really bizarre was that he was swimming around and the, the ducks, you know, they were sort of freaked out a little bit, but not totally freaked out. Oh, and our Muscovy bit the dust, the one that was down here the other night that I said that was probably going to stay down here. She didn't look too good. She got eaten. Big white clump of feathers, exactly the last place I saw her. So she might have died and then got eaten or got so weak, couldn't get away and got eaten. But her remains, and there she is. That's her remains. And that's almost the exact spot that uh, I saw her the last time. Okay, the ducks are leaving the creek. All right, guys, I gotta get back into hunting mode here. I thought I heard a chirping sound when I got back out here on the dock. And I thought maybe he was, you know, going the back way. But the ducks aren't panicking. If he appears this time, I've got the shotgun. Because he was circling exactly where the uh, the ducks were. The thing is, when I saw the water moving, I knew there was something swimming underneath the water. Doug, <laughs> what a dog, eh? Once he sees something, he thinks the otter is still there. What a dog. Doug. Yeah, I was right there in the boat. Right there, guys. I was hitching up the battery. I look up and actually, he was right there. Right there, right beside that log. That's where he was. And he was sitting there chirping at me, looking at me like, oh, hi. And the thing is, when I came down, I had such a load of things in the, I had the wheelbarrow loaded right up. And I said, I can't bring the shotgun down. I got too much stuff on the go here. I thought about it. I should have just figured out some way of bringing it down. I should never come down here without it. Yeah, I, I saw the ripple coming out of the creek and the ducks were all out of the water. Now everybody's at the house. All right, I gotta fix this deck because... Okay, Doug. Doug's now, Doug got me all uh, doubled looking here. I gotta fix the deck here, guys. <laughs> I wiped out good. I managed to save myself. Oh, that's what I uh, tripped on right there. Screws rusted right off. Well, he's patiently waiting for the otter to come back. Just hoping. I got the dock all screwed together and I actually I just lifted this corner up and uh, put another log under it to get out of the water. It sunk a little bit. Being that we're in a swamp, everything sinks here. But uh, no sign of them. I, I thought I heard some chirping over there by the creek. Uh, all the ducks now are in the yard, so maybe he did head over that way and the ducks just left, but uh, nothing. So I know there's one that's still hanging around. Uh, I gotta get this guy, or he's just gonna keep hunting the ducks and causing the ducks to keep coming back to the yard. All right, I'm uh, I'm gonna do my chores. I'm not getting a lot done today. Well, I, I got a lot done, but I'm just not what I set out to do today. I get up to the garage, and I'm just about to start loading feed into the wheelbarrow, and I realize that I haven't even done a test voyage in the boat. I, with all the excitement that took place, I uh, never got to actually try the motor. So we're going to go for a quick scoop, guys, to make sure she works. I have the shotgun. We're going to go down the creek because the ducks keep going down and stopping and coming back. So I'm thinking the otter's waiting in the creek. And hopefully my rebuild job works. Well, it seems to be working. Water's really low, though. Really low. You can tell that it hasn't rained all summer. It's September the, what, the 5th or the 6th? And I'm, this is the first time I've been out in the boat? But this is the area Doug was freaking out when I first came out and I was working on the boat. It was because the otter was in here hunting ducks. Oh, 
holy mackerel the water is really low it's almost the, the canoe material only I'm hitting everywhere normally that log is about four or five inches below the water oh there's a dog I left him in the garage sleeping because I wanted to come down here and uh, see if I could sneak up on the otter. Well, that plan's gone now. See, the thing is, he knows there's something here, right? And we can't keep Dougie down. He's got a, a one-track mind. See, the thing is, he's seen the otter, right? So now he's seen the otter, he's seen the, the coyote. The dog's got, like, no rest. Oh, the ducks are following Doug down to the water. Doug. Doug, the ducks are coming down here. Oh, his nose is going. I've got the motor set right up and it's still hitting bottom. So the ducks really want to be in the water, but there's something down here. It's got Doug the hunter down here looking for it. Well guys, I'm going to sit down here for a little while and see uh, if anything appears. It's not like I'm going to go and pick my garden or anything today. I want to see what happens. Something is here. I got the shotgun, so we're ready. All right, well, Doug is taking up position here, guys. He smells something, but he's going to take the uh, the wait and see uh, attitude here. You know, the creek is just filling up with ducks down there. More and more ducks are coming down, but uh, because I'm sitting out here in the boat, they're not too sure. I have been saying hello to them, and uh, it doesn't seem to be making a difference. But we got more and more ducks coming. They want to come back to the water. Better than being stuck in the yard. Doug. He's camping out on the shoreline now. What a dog. He's just waiting for something to show up. The dog desperately wants to put something in his mouth. Oh, the ducks are moving up. They're getting closer. All right, well, I'm gonna sit here and wait and see what happens. I moved uh, farther out here and Doug decided to follow me. He thought I was leaving him. <laughs> it's so hard to get out of the water at the edge. It's so mucky. Oh, that freaked the ducks out, Doug getting out of the water. 
They were working their way up the creek. There's not many left in the yard. We're back down to the lake again. But no sign of the otter. Well, I moved out farther and then the killdeers did a complete freaking peek and then Doug, because the killdeers were freaking, just pushed all those ducks back and now he's laying down in the swamp halfway between those ducks and those ducks. Like he's waiting for something. But I noticed today, guys, is Doug is working his way farther and farther out in the swamp to lay down and uh, watch. Because when I was working in the garage, I thought he was in the yard and he was down in the swamp laying down. I think he's cluing in uh, that the running thing ain't working, that he's got to be closer. Oh, we've had no sign of anything. It's an absolutely beautiful day though. Absolutely, actually, crazy nice. But not a sign of him, of course. I'm ready and nothing. Well, I'm gonna head back and do my duck chores. But the water is so shallow, it's canoe and only. It's bad with the electric motor. Like I've got it set right up high and uh, it's still churning up the bottom. It wasn't a very good summer for rain. Well, I did accomplish one thing. Boat's in the water and it does work. But I also discovered that the lake is so shallow that I really should be using the canoe. Uh, I can't win today. And the ducks are down in the creek. But a lot of them went back to the yard. And Doug is laying down somewhere out there. I can't see him anymore. He's laying low. He's starting to lay uh, <laughs> closer and closer to the ground. I think he's starting to figure out this running from the yard blindly is not working. that he's better off being in the swamp. I'm gonna go and do my duck chores. I'm a little bit drained today. I think the heat got me. I was just thinking it'd be nice to go to bed early tonight, but then I realized I gotta do a light test. I honestly feel like I could go to bed at eight o'clock if I had the ducks locked up, which something tells me because it's nice out, that isn't gonna happen. I know last night they did not cooperate going into the pen. They almost challenged me. It was like they were, it was like there was a predator in the pen and they were totally freaked out, wouldn't go into the pen. It was just defiance. It was unbelievable. It was so hard loading this. Oh, oh. Boys, <laughs> I don't know why I'm so wiped out today. Oh, Doug's back. The sweet smell in this area is just starting to go away. It was getting pretty bad. I didn't like the smell of it because of all the feces in the water. It had that, that septic smell to it. Now it's just got a, a slight sweet odor. Pen's drying out exactly how it's supposed to be. What an awesome feeding season though. Oh boys. This is the answer, guys. Everything drains out of the pan. No mud trail going out of the pan. I just got to come up with a, uh, a pre-screen here so that uh, I don't plug the, the drain. I'll come up with something. Not today, though. I'm barely, 
have enough energy to do this right now. Oh, <laughs> oh boys. Okay, this is going to be difficult. Oh. Oh boy, that was unbelievably hard. I only got three more to lift after this. You know, they keep trying to go back down to the lake, but they keep coming back. Doug's watching. Anything happens, he'll run down. They really want to be playing in the water and not here in the yard. I don't blame them. They're leaving again. For the third or fourth time today. Last night guys, I was down here and I was trying to find the remains of my uh, squash plant. Absolutely, completely gone. They ate her all, man, nothing left. The ducks destroyed it. So imagine if they got in the garden. Oof. Well, let's go to the lake with the ducks here and see if anything's down here. Something stopping the ducks from going up the creek. They're really agitated. I think it's the otter, I think he's hiding. He's in ambush mode because the ducks won't go past this part. I did hear a chirping sound coming from this direction. He could very well be hiding right in here. Well, I'm ready. I got the shotgun. Yeah, the ducks want to be down here. But look at, see? They come swimming down, they come out. Well, the ducks know he's here, but they're doing a terrible job of telling me where he is. Just heard a chirp over here. But the ducks won't come to the mouth of the creek. And I was just wondering that to myself. And just before I turned the camera on, I heard a chirp. So he's back there somewhere. A little otter chirp. So he's, uh, he's laying and waiting. The ducks know he's here, but they really want to be in the water. But they're being very cautious because they're staying down there. It's almost like they know that the otter's got uh, too much exposure to get them down there. Where if they were all down at this end, it would be much easier for the otter to snaffle up a, a duck dinner. I know I'm really tired to be playing Rambo. And because this otter's in hunting mode, he is not going to show himself. It's not like when I was in the boat and he was curious. He wants one of these ducks. Doug's laying uh, about 30 feet from the pen on my side watching me. He's waiting for me to shoot.
This is the thing about predators. They're so hard to get because they're so good at hiding. And they have patience, big time. Well, I'll wait a little longer. Went up to the garage, got a milk carton. I'm at the house and I can hear the otter chirping. Unbelievable. So I'm gonna sit down here instead of standing. I'm gonna rest my old bones. And, uh, okay, all the ducks are leaving. Well, I'm gonna wait because I got a hunch he's gonna appear. He's gonna show himself. Right, Doug? He's gonna show himself, isn't he? Yes, Dougie. <laughs> So I'll just sit here and tan my back and see if Mr. Otter pops his head up. It's gotta be close because I was, like I said guys, I was at the house and it was just chirping like crazy. And the fact that the ducks have left tells me that he's close. And they will show themselves out of curiosity. So, let's see how curious Mr. Otter is. We'll give him a dose of curiosity here. Not a sign of anything, guys. Dougie's watching my back, though. <laughs> Dougie. <laughs> He's pushing up against the milk carton. I could feel him moving the milk carton. But no more chirping since the ducks left. Oh, man. I really should be laying down. You know, if I had a cool drink right now, it would be uh, a lot more enjoyable. There's been no more chirping. Doug's actually gone to sleep here beside me. And the ducks are back at the yard. So I'm gonna go have a shower, package up my apples, back down to the dock. I uh, just couldn't give up that easy. But I just realized something. I haven't seen our baby loon in a couple days, maybe even three days. No swimming action on the lake at all. So maybe he got his wings and he flew away. Just hoping that's what happened. Found a lake with some big fish. Not a sign of anything down here. I think the otters have left because the ducks left. All right, I'm going back this time for sure. I need a shower. And then I got to package my apples up and we'll do mail time. 13 bags, guys. It's a grand total. They weigh about three pounds a bag, roughly. Well, we'll weigh them in the garage. We'll see what the whole basket weighs. Okay, what do we got? So 49.8 and there's one bag over in the house. So we got 52.8 pounds because I've got a bag over in the house. 2.8 pounds. Well, that's a pretty good haul of apples, guys. Actually, with the bag I got over in the house, 50 pounds of apples. Not bad. 50 pounds of apples. That's like, oh, like 35, 32 apple crisps. Or a whole bunch of apple pies. Oh, I'm going to have to make an apple pie here soon. Oh, the ducks are hanging close. I heard a chirp when I was doing the apples. I heard chirping again. So the otter's close by. Okay, time for mail time. The first box we have here is from Karen Welch. What do we got here? Okay. Oh. 
for attracting the coyotes in. Well, Karen, I don't believe this. Thank you so much. I'm going to have to uh, give this a crack. And Well, one, I'm going to have to make sure the ducks are locked up. And I've got the rifle handy. And we can uh, snipe ourselves some uh, coyotes. Right on. Thank you very much, Karen. That's pretty freaking awesome, guys. Okay, this next one, uh, it doesn't say who it's from. But it's from the UK. And they went a little crazy on the... Uh, the tape here but I have a knife okay, it's a holy mackerels oh man this whoever sent this oh postcard okay I gotta get my glasses but first look at this oh English chocolate man this stuff is way better than our chocolate. Oh, I love chocolate. What else we got in here? A mug. Oh, a ducky mug. Look at this, guys. Little ducks. <laughs> right on. Let me get my glasses and find out who it's from. Well, thank you very much, Alan and Cian. That is awful nice of you. The, uh, <laughs> the chocolate, though. Oh, I get so excited over chocolate, guys. I'm a big chocolate lover. That's, I can't have it in the house because I can't stop myself, so I just don't buy the stuff. And when it does get into the house, it, it goes about as fast as my apple crisp does. All right, so that's mail time. Awesome mail time. Chocolates. Ooh, I'm excited about that. And we're going to become the Coyote Kill channel here. I'm going to power this thing up and uh, we'll see what she sounds like. Wouldn't you know it? Well, one, I don't have AA batteries. I had to steal these out of my computer. Uh, out of my, Both my computers actually had to steal the batteries. The only rechargeables I have. But the battery in this thing is dead. And I was reading online, guys. I might not be able to legally use this. Because as soon as you start... I got I got to clarify this, but as soon as you start calling them in, you're hunting, and I don't have a hunting license, so I might not even legally be allowed to use this. I can shoot them if they're in here trying to kill my ducks, that I know for a fact. But I uh, but baiting them in here with uh, you know an attractor like this, I uh, might not be allowed to do it. But I know one thing tonight: the battery's dead. Nothing's happening here dead battery what are the odds of that all right and it's a weird battery too uh, no idea where I'm gonna get a battery like this of course huh? they will have to get a battery in it that's just probably online only so we're out of luck hearing what it's gonna sound like tonight guys unfortunately plus I have to check to see if I could legally use it since I don't have a hunting license. Alright guys, I have no idea how uh, this video is going to turn out because this is my first night that I'm using my new headlights. Hey Dougies, stay there. <laughs> Were you out garden? Alright, well, let's go around and lock up. I ordered this, uh, of course, on eBay from some Chinese seller. It's a triple head uh, LED light system. It seems pretty bright, but it's not that dark out right now. But we've got a lot of false alarms going on right now. Doug's been barking. Killdeers have been losing it. Ducks are running around, so I thought I'd come out here and lock everybody up. Okay, ducks. Oh, the light's going to totally screw you up, isn't it? Come on. Killdeers are losing it. Get inside there, ducks. Oh, 
Well, they're going in a lot better than they were last night. Last night was brutal to get them in the pen. Oh, we got some stragglers here. Come on, little duckies. Doug, stop. Stop. Oh, duggies. You're wound right. Yeah, I know. You're wound out, dog. Okay. <laughs> dog. Hey, hey, hey. Come here. You're not listening, are you? Oh, biting at bugs. All right, Doug, come on. Doug, over there. Over there. Sit. 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 Stay there. Okay, Doug. Come on. Come on, Doug. Oh, you. Okay, Doug, come on out. I have no idea if this video is going to turn out, but I can tell you one thing, it's it's pretty neat having both hands free and having a light pointing where I need it. Sort of like using pivot heads. I gotta wait till it gets a little darker before I come out and do the test on the light. Well, it looks like all the ducks are inside. guys that's it ducks are locked up doesn't seem like all the ducks are in there but oh yeah it is okay they're all over the place okay Doug time for a shower come on come on Doug Doug come here come here Doug the warm water wash tonight. If I do this with warm water, completely cooperate. If I do it with cold water, like straight garden hose, eh, he really isn't that receptive to us. And he was down in the swamp. I already gave him one wash in earlier today. But he's been down there again. Doug, you cooperate so good. It's like washing your car. Just stays in one spot. We get the undercarriage here. Are you clean? Not covered in any mud? Are you good to go? Alright, there we go. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show.